Welcome to another special episode. This week, we're joining in in the Orktober build. Mike from Scratch Bashing has gotten a few people together, and uh, we're uh, we're doing some uh, Ork Awareness Month thing. This thing. Anyways, we'll have people join us like Eric from Eric's Workshop, Wylock, and also Marco. Check him out, actually. His painting styles is crazy. What am I shame? The links to their video will be in the description below. In case you want to check them out, make sure to check them out after you watch this, of course. You know what I'm saying? And don't forget to sub if you want to keep up with the madness of the show. Now let's get this started. Oh wait, no, that's Jens. I ain't gonna touch that. This build was different for me. During the month of September, I scavenged material to use for this build. As you can probably make out from the thumbnail, I decided to make a jet. What might not be so clear is that it's basically made out of garbage. Or more specifically, recycled crap. I think hoarding material comes with the hobby. The best thing I could have done for this build is find material that was already in the shape of what I needed this plane to look like. This iced tea bottle was just that. I just needed to make the top part a bit shorter. I also ended up gluing a different top from another container onto it. The details were just more interesting. I still had a lot of gears from that Wyla collaboration I did a while back. You should definitely check out the video. I figured I would utilize them in this build as well. From the seconds I glued these things onto the plane, I had formed a vision of how I wanted to paint them. For the first time I was actually looking forward to the painting portion of the build. Which is pretty weird for me. Taking a page out of Mike's book, I started to look at items and seeing them for what else they could be. I even went on a few tag sale hunts and got my hands on some rather cheap pieces that I knew I would either be using in this build or using on anything related to the campaign I'm running at the moment. Other items were simply things I've decided to recycle myself. And as you may have noticed, I'm not too worried about using too much hot glue. I know I'll eventually cover most of it up. I just want to make sure that these initial pieces are bond well. Now this is about the point where I start to hide the fact that I use cheap material. And I'll be mainly hiding that cheap material with uh, more cheap material. There's some essential things that I pretty much start prepping for right here. One of the things is having like a cannon and also the driver area. I guess what I'm going for here is what if Batman was an orc? And I hope I at least succeed in the smallest level. And I'm just going to do a little bit of detailing on the wings so that they don't look boring. Let me use some cold porcelain to fill some gaps within my project. And also to maybe improvise some areas where I might not have been able to find something that worked as it was. Let's get back to making some weapons. For this step, I use the ends of the empty caught guns I've been hoarding. I've been meaning to use these things for about two years. I'm so proud of this for the dumbest reasons. I'm happy I found a use for these bits.
To finish this step off, I also used some LED lights that were useless to me. Until today, which I ended up using them here. I was originally gonna do some faces on them, um, but I decided not to, keep it simple. And with these types of builds, I can't emphasize enough how far these small details go. And I know for a fact that if you're wargaming, you probably have a thousand of these things laying around. Why not put them to some use? Oh, you don't have those? Well, what about some Lego pieces? These things go a long way as well. Let's start to add some metal plating and layering. It's really cardboard. Anyways, again, I'm not worried about making this thing look perfect. It might not be clear to you, but I wasn't worried about making this look neat. Seems like the orcs and I have similar ways of building things. I like to feel the building process, and sometimes taking the time to measure something takes away from my momentum. I keep in mind that if there is something that needs to be fixed, I will find a way to fix it eventually. With this next step, I'm taking a bit of a risk. Hot glue sticks aren't known for being durable. I wanted to make some pipes look organic to the overall composition of the build, and this was all I could come up with. I finished it off with a straw I poked holes in, but more on that later in the video. I wanted to make sure I primed the hot glue before I added anything else to it. My overall goal here was to make sure I don't make this look like garbage. While working on this step, please keep in mind what areas you are hitting up. You want to make sure you have somewhere you can touch that's not melty. Also keeping water near you is key. Once you have the shape you're aiming for, you can solidify the hot glue by dipping it into the water. This I guess is the technique highlight of the video, I don't know, I think I did alright. You, you let me know. Alright, this next step is simple but very effective. I'm using a tacky glue here, and this is the same thing I basically did on my last video with the giant centipede monster. This is probably something I'm gonna use in just about every build that I have metal. It's just so effective, I kinda like love painting it at the end of the build. I add black Mod Podge mix to all of the cardboard surfaces on this just to add a little bit more strength to them. For the rest of the details, I take advantage of pre-existing shapes like Lego pieces. This is where I add the straw to the glue sticks. This was a detail that I've noticed on almost every single reference I looked at. I just had to figure out a way to do it myself. Don't forget to add more little details, even if they don't make sense. It will all look better at the end. And that's really what matters. I hope. I'll be painting this for a while, so let me just get my lunch ready and my paints. I think this is definitely the hardest part, walking you through the painting process. I originally wanted to make the plane red, I felt like that was the logical choice here. But I wanted to make sure that I had a different color scheme than the train video I had done previously. Blue was my next choice, something I was sure from the very beginning that I was going to use alternating patterns of yellow and black. That was what I was most excited about this whole build. I don't venture much into tech fields like this, mainly because it's not the typical setting that I usually run my games in. But I love building them. There's something very organic about this process, believe it or not. Especially when you're dealing with orcs, because all they care about is, is this thing deadly or not? I don't even bother using masking tape here. You think an orc is going to say, hmm. Did I do that line straight enough? I don't think so. Okay, I'm kind of getting sidetracked. Let me get back on this. The way I add the wash here is very important in my opinion. I first added the black wash and I did my best not to get it in any of the yellow spots. Then on those yellow spots, I added a brown wash instead. I just think that the brown wash looks so much more natural on the yellow. I also dry brush a bit of the yellow back on the plane to bring back some of that vibrant hue. I start to edge highlight all the blue plates. Yeah, all of them. 
and then with a hard brush I end up tapping some of those blue areas. Not the best chip in effect but it works well enough for me. This is as far as I took the effect though. I didn't want to ruin the work I had already by experimenting with a new technique. I'll leave that for some other time. Alright, that's it for me. I hope you like what you got. Check out the other videos, of course, don't forget. And let me know how I did. Like always, let's thank the homies over at Patreon for keeping the lights on. Let me know if you'd like me to do more sci-fi work, more fantasy work, a mesh of both, monsters, whatever. I'm down. Alright, like always, catch you on the next one. Peace!